Hi, today we are going to discuss a topic digital sum. First of all, let us see what is digital sum. Digital sum of a number is the sum of its digits until it becomes a single digit. For example, 3, 2, 4, 1. Let us find the digital sum of this number. What is 3 plus 2? 5. What is 5 plus 4? 9. What is 9 plus 1? 10. It hasn't become a single digit yet. So you add 1 and 0 again. What is 1 plus 0? 1. So we can say the digital sum of this number 3, 2, 4, 1 is 1. Let us consider another example. 7, 8, 3, 2, 4. Let us find the digital sum of this number now. What is 7 plus 8? 15. 15 plus 3? 18. 18 plus 2? 20. 20 plus 4? 24. Let us find the digital sum. 2 plus 4? 6. So we can say the digital sum of this number is 6. When do we use this method? We use this method basically for verification of answer. Let us take a small example just for a sample. Let us say I give you a question. Find the cube root of 3307661. 3, I ask you to find the cube root of this number. 3307661. And I give you two options. Let us say the two options are 311 and 321. Now the approach will be we will not find the cube root of this number. We will verify the answer using this method digital sum. How? Let us see. If 311 is the cube root of this number, then I can say that cube of 311 should be equal to 3307661. I hope it is clear. Or if 321 is the cube of is the cube root of this number then the cube of 321 should be equal to 3307661. Now we will verify the answer. How? Let us do. What is 3 plus 1? 4. What is 4 plus 1? 5. 5 is the digital sum of 311. Now take the cube of this digital sum 5. What is cube of 5? 125. 125. It hasn't become a single digit yet. So take the digital sum again. What is 1 plus 2? 3. What is 3 plus 5? 8. So the digital sum of 311 cube is 8. Let us check the digital sum on the right hand side. 3 plus 3? 3, 6. 6 plus 7? 13. 13 plus 6? 19. Plus 1? 20. 26? 27. Now digital sum of 27 will be 2 plus 7? 9. On the left side? What did we get? 8. On the right side, 9. So, I can say the cube root of this number is not 311. Let us verify for 321. For right side, we need not calculate again. What is the digital sum? 9. I hope it is clear yet. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. What is the cube of 6? 2, 1, 6. It hasn't become a single digit yet. What is 2 plus 1? 3. 3 plus 6? 9. Left side, we got 9. Right side, we got 9. So the answer is 321. This was just a sample. We can use this method for verification, for elimination of options, not only in calculations, various other topics also. Now let us check how to find digital sum in a fast method. Let us take. Using the fast method, we can find digital sum. Let us take some examples. 3, 2, 6, 1, 4. We want to find the digital sum of this number. Can you see any 9 in this number? No, I cannot. But can you see 9 indirectly? Yes, I can see. 3 plus 6, 9. Just ignore it. You are left with 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. 7 will be the digital sum of this number. Why did I ignore 9? This is the property we will discuss in the next video.
Let us take another example. 4, 6, 5, 3, 2, 7, 1. Let us find the digital sum of this number. Can you see any 9? No. Can you see 9 indirectly? Yes. 4 plus 5? 9. Ignore it. 6 plus 3? 9. Ignore it. 2 plus 7? 9. Ignore it. We are left with what? 1. 1 is the digital sum of this number. You can check it. Let us check. 4 plus 6? 10. 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 3, 18, 18 plus 2, 20, 20 plus 7, 27, 27 plus 1, 28. And what is the digital sum for 28? 2 plus 8, 10. And what is 10? 1 plus 0, 1. I got it. Yeah. Let us take a few examples which are not exam oriented. For example, consider the year 2014. And consider the month February. Let us take any date, 17. This is day, this is month and this is year. And complete, we call it as date. Let us find the digital sum of day only. What is the digital sum of day? I can say 8. 1 plus 7 is 8. What is the digital sum of the month? February 2. What is the digital sum of the year? 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. Now observe something. The digital sum of the month and the year combined. What do we get? 9. So in the year 2014, in the month February, the digital sum of the day and the complete day was same. Why? Let us check it. Because the digital sum of the month and the year combined gave 9. And if you ignore 9, what you are left with is the digital sum of the day only. So I can say the digital sum of the day and the digital sum of complete day were equal in February 2014. Take any day of it. Let us consider another year, 2013. What should we consider now? March. Digital sum of 3 is 3. Digital sum of the year is 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. What is the combined digital sum? 9. Now you take any day over here. Any day. You have to ignore 9. You get the digital sum of the day as well as date as equal. Let us consider 17 March. Or let us say 21 March. 21st March. What is the digital sum of the day? 2 plus 1, 3. If you calculate the digital sum of the complete date, you will get 3 again. Why? Because the digital sum here is 9. Now what is the role of 9? Why do we ignore 9? I told you earlier, we will discuss the properties in the next video. Thank you.